In this tutorial you will see how to program a basic enemies like this fellow. He can walk left, right and turn back if he detects the hole. He can also detect the player and attack him. I prepared here a basic enemy which is kinematic body 2D. The node type is important because we'll use the built-in function like move and slide. I also added a sprite, basic collision shape and a few animation. If you're not familiar with collisions, you can learn more about them in my tutorial how to do collisions in the Gadoo. Right now our enemy is just standing on the scene. Let's go to the enemy script and write a move character function in the process function. It's a simple function where we move the character to the left. In this case 32 pixels per second and we also add a gravity to it. More about gravity you can find on my gravity and movement tutorial. The link is on the description. As we can see the enemy is moving left with gravity effect and that's all. Next we need to detect the hole in front of the enemy. We'll use Raycast2D for this job. In my project I'm using basic layers for player, enemy and environment for the collisions. More about it you can find on my tutorial about collision which I meant earlier. Our Raycast2D need to detect the environment which is a tileset in my case. The logic is very simple, if the enemy doesn't see the environment, he needs to turn around. Let's add a Raycast 2D. In the inspector, collision mask, we can set what the layers the object can see. It will be the environment in my case, the node needs to be also enabled. Let's move the Raycast somewhere over here, and that point is important to use for collision detection. Now let's go back into the script and add a new function detect turn around. First condition is for detecting the collision using Raycast 2D. If it's not colliding with the environment that means the enemy has a hole in front of him. The second condition is a built-in function to detect if the kinematic body is on the ground. Let's test it. And now we can see the output of the console when we need to turn around. A good idea is to hold information about where the character is moving. Let's use the variable is moving left equal to true by default. It is because our character is starting from moving left. Let's use this variable in our move character function. That means if is moving left is true then we'll use minus speed value and otherwise we'll use positive speed value. If you don't know one line conditions that will be the same as this piece of code but in more elegant way. After this let's use our is moving left value in the detect turn around function. It will be toggled each time when the enemy will detect the hole. And as you can see it doesn't work. But why? To solve this riddle let's use debug and check the visible collision shapes. Each time the character wants to turn around we need also to set up a site for the raycast and also flip our sprite. Let's do this, it will be a very fast solution and I will explain this in a moment. Just do the scale x is equal to minus scale x. And now we have a nice working movement for the enemy. But what happened? We just changed the scale transformation for this scene. At the start we have one unit of the scale. But if we go with negative value, all the children should be flipped horizontally. In a slow motion it should look like this. This method can be also used for nice flip animation. Next thing is to detect the player. Let me show you a theory for better understanding. We need add a player detector to detect the player in front of enemy. Use attack animation when the player is inside. Add a attack detector to check if we hit the player. It will be active only for a very short time. So about the time, time for practice. Let's add a Ariga 2D with collision shape 2D to detect the player. Let's name it player detector and set up the transformation and the layers. It needs only a mask to detect other layers. Now let's add the second Ariga 2D with collision shape 2D to attack the player. It will be very similar to player detector, but let's turn off the monitoring and monitorable. The first one is for detect the bodies and areas, the second is for being detected. After disabling both, this area can see and is invisible. Now let's add a three simple function. Hit is for activate the attack detector, 
end of hit is for deactivating the attack detector and start walk is for starting the walk. We'll use this function on the animation player. Hit and also end of hit function is used when we want to check the collision between the weapon and the player. The last thing to do is to connect detector signals to the script. Let's connect the player detector using the body entered signal. Inside we only need to start the attack animation. Now let's go to attack detector and also connect the body entered signal. Inside we can just reload the scene if the weapon hit the player. We need to also stop moving the character while attack. So let's just stop the process function if animation player current animation is equal to attack. And that's all for this tutorial. As you can see the enemy can detect the player and attack him. If he managed to do it, the scene will be reloaded. So Thanks for watching, remember that you can find a link to the script on the description. Like the video if you like it, dislike if you didn't and have a nice day, night and see you later. Party time!